So today's tip and something that I've, I've spoke about again lots and lots of time, um, lots and lots of times in the past. A little tip I was given, I forget who gave it me. I, I've gone through many names on who told me this, but when it comes to mugging, which I am a massive, massive fan of as soon as the weather warms up, is using a red pellet as hook bait. Well, in fact, not necessarily for mugging. Quite often for on the bottom as well, whenever I'm feeling hard pellets, a red pellet hook bait is absolutely massive in that whether it stands out, something different, who knows, it just flipping works. You get more bites with a red one than you do a normal one, 99% of the time, I'm going to say. And what we've got in this case is two different scenarios, two different flavours of pellets, obviously flavour, all up to you. I mean, whether that makes a difference or not, all it ultimately comes down to is your confidence when it comes to flavour. But what I want is a lovely, dense, very, very slow breakdown pellet. I mean, with both of these, whether it's a Robin Red or the Krills, I've got a pellet that I can leave on for 10, 20 minutes without it even deteriorating at all, which is very, very important for me whenever I'm mugging in particular, being able to leave that hook bait on and have many, many casts before the pellet goes. Just goes a bit nasty, goes a bit broken down. It's the last thing I want. The longer my pellet lasts, the more time I'm spent fishing instead of whizzing it back. And the red hook bait, so it's massive. At venues up and down the country now the most popular thing i see is a little pot of red pellets on everyone's side tray for whenever the hard pellet fishing and something that definitely myself i wouldn't be without so a very very little sneaky tip but red hook bait massive 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 part of my fishing when it comes to summer mugging and hard pellet fishing